This is a video to explain how to put a binding phrase onto your ExpressLRS SPI base receiver commonly found on the Mobula 6 all in one board. But this is the Crazy B board uh, and a custom build, but it's very similar to the Mobula 6. And when I first started doing this, I thought, oh, I'll just go into the quadcopter CLI on beta flight, beta flight, however you want to say it, and I'll connect. And I thought, oh yeah, probably be simple. Let's just put binding phrase in or something like that. Binding phrase equals or something like that. Duh, 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 duh. No. I tried a couple of other things that didn't work either. I did some reading into this. And you have to put a UID code in and a special command, which I found out. I found some difficulties finding this on YouTube. Um, but I'm just going to do this video. So if anybody else comes across this problem, you can just follow this video. On the Express LRS uh, website, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. There's some details and how to put this get your uid code and your cli command in to set your binding phrase of course a binding phrase allows the quadcopter and the transmitter to bind automatically rather than having to go through the bind procedure wait 30 seconds for the um SPI receiver to go into binding mode, which on these little things, the VTX is uh, heat up pretty fast. So a binding phrase allows the quadcopter to bind straight away if you've got the binding phrase set on your TX also. This is not a video about that. This is just about binding phrase and how to find your UID code. Now on this website, there's a UID byte generator. So this is how you get your six numbers here that you have to put in your CLI command, UID bytes, they call it. So choose your binding phrase, which is the same set in your firmware on your TX module on your transmitter. So for example, just choose the word, for example, binding. And here you'll see when I'm typing, it'll generate UID bytes, these six numbers. If I take away, generates other numbers. Also, I've noticed it is case sensitive. So if you look there, the first number is 156. If I change that B to uppercase, the first number is now 244. So this is case sensitive so make sure if your binding phrase is all in lowercase you type it in here all in lowercase which will give you these uid byte numbers and then in your cli you'll put in this command in your beta beta flight cli i'll just copy that Set express LRS underscore UID space equals space and your five numbers there, your UID bytes. So let's go and do that. Connect to quadcopter. Go into CLI. Set express. LRS underscore UID space equals space and these six numbers he generated or you can actually just copy it there there's a copy icon there copy to clipboard copy those go into your CLI paste enter Didn't work, enter. Yep, there we go. And 
save. I'm not going to save that because that's not my binding phrase. Save and enter. And that'll put your binding phrase onto your SP, SPI ExpressLRS receiver. I hope that helps you. Bye now.